Good morning. Welcome to New Day Northwest. We kick off this Wellness Wednesday with a workout aimed at taking the fear out of starting a boot camp or a strength training class for the first time. That can be intimidating. Ian Weinberg and a student from Ian Fitness in Seattle join us now with a brief demo. Take it away, guys. All right. Awesome. So Steph's going to start off with some bicep curl squat combination. So we like to try to be as efficient as possible with our exercises, combining things together. So we're working some arms, we're working some glutes, our quadriceps are all getting worked. Just gonna do five reps for us here. And then we'll transition right into the next one. Great work. And do some step back lunges. And again, we're trying to combine lower, ba lower body work and upper body all at the same time. Some fairly basic exercises, just combining a few together. Looking great. Bent over rows next. Backs and arms working here. And we've just got a simple eight pound set of dumbbells that you can find just about anywhere that send, sells fitness equipment. And then we're bringing them in together here for some forward swings. Looking good. All right, and then one more round through we'll go here for curling up, squatting down, and we'll notice knees stay back behind the toes sits back into it, the bicep curls, elbows stay in close to the ribs. Step back lunge, same idea, looking for 90 degree angles in the front leg and the back leg. Nice and slow, under control, not rushing through anything. Nicely done. Bent over rows, again the back. Elbows in close to the ribs, taking her time with her exercise. And then I'll steer clear on this last one. And for some swings, driving forward, we're squeezing the glutes on this one. Exhaling as we're coming up. Fantastic. All right, nicely done, nicely done. Yes, oh, come on over, yes. Oh, she looks like she's uh, not a first timer. She's certainly not, she's certainly not. <laughs> So that's interesting. Yeah. The, it, it's a good thing to kind of think about those strength training for women. Oftentimes we think about doing aerobic exercise, yeah. keeping weight under control. Yeah. But strength training becomes important, especially as we get older. Tell yeah. me why. Oh, absolutely. So when we talk about overall fitness, you've got that cardiovascular piece, but you have to combine the strength training because that's where we're burning body fat. We're building muscle, which we know is going to help boost our metabolism. So now we burn more calories. If we want to lose weight, we need to burn calories. So um, that really works together with the cardio piece and what a lot of people accidentally kind of lose out or miss out on, right? Um, the other piece is when we talk about aging, that's overall strength and health, mm -hmm. right? You know, my mom, as she's gotten older, she's had a hip replacement. And it's one of those things where if you're strengthening your muscles, you're also strengthening your bones. And so we're talking about injury prevention, right? And so Which that's is a key really component. important. Yeah. So let's talk about the intimidation factor yeah. of going to a class and, and really whether it's strength training or especially yeah. something called a boot camp. I'm mm -hmm. like, no thanks, yeah. I don't think I <laughs> yeah. want to do that. Yeah. Um, it, you don't know what to wear. You don't know what to expect. You yeah. don't want to make a fool out of yourself. Totally. How do you find something that is really going to be open to you being a beginner? Yeah, absolutely. And it's a, it's a great question. It's something that we've really evolved into being able to accommodate all levels. And, and we really pride ourselves on meeting people where they're at. Mm -hmm. So some people might come in and, and they've had some experience like Stephanie or somebody might come in and they've never set foot in the gym before and, and they've done, you know, spin class or they've done a Zumba class and, right. and they feel like maybe it's time to do that. And so what we do is we're gonna accommodate by modifying the exercises. So you can do that in a few ways. How many repetitions are you gonna do? Are you gonna do three or four, or maybe 10 or 12? Are they gonna be eight pound weights? Or are they gonna be heavier? Are you gonna be challenged by a balance factor? Or are we gonna have you stable? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different factors to kind of tweak and make sure we're meeting people where they're at. So our, you know, our main mission is let's make everybody feel successful. And so for some people, it's like, hey, I, I worked out for five minutes. Right. Great. That's a good start. <laughs> that's spot. a start. Yeah. So as a yeah. consumer, I don't want to feel self-conscious. I don't mm -hmm. want you to be coming over to me as an instructor and yeah. saying, okay, here's how to make it easier for yep. you yep. while everybody else is exercising. Sure. So should I come in a little earlier and talk to the instructor? Yeah. So for us, and what I would hope any fitness program is we have an activation session. And so that's where we get a chance. You know, even if we have a big group, we're going to meet with people individually. We want to talk about previous fitness experience, any injuries or health concerns we need to be aware of and then demonstrate the exercises because right. nobody wants to go into a big environment with a bunch of people or even two or three people but not know what they're doing because that's it sucks right be and, the one yeah. goofball you totally because you've got yeah. the big mirror up there everybody yeah can see and, you and it's one of those um you know one of the most frustrating things for me is to, to hear people say i need to get in shape before i go get in shape 
and we yeah. want to be the place to get you in shape before you go someplace else to get in shape. But if I think you need that's to. a really yeah. common feeling. Absolutely, it's a really yeah. common yeah. feeling, and especially you know as we get older. And you know, I remember going to classes that were incredibly challenging at yeah. 20 or 25. Yeah. I can't do those now. Totally. So I, you know, when I look at the class names, sometimes even the names yeah, are, yeah, totally. are a yeah. bit scary. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, so yeah. another thing, if you've if you've been doing aerobics or you know some kind of high energy exercise, but yeah. you haven't been doing strength strength training. Um, what's the easiest way to start if you're just going to do it at home? Say yeah. with resistance bands or with, yeah, with some dumbbells? Doubles. Yeah, just some basic exercises. You know, the, the simplest version is, is pushing and pulling. So pushing against some weights, mm -hmm. whether it's just your body weight, you don't even necessarily need equipment, or pulling. And, you know, whether that's a band or some weights. And then, you know, you pull from this dimension or you pull down from up or up from down. And th so that's kind of the two basics that you're looking to do. And you can start off with body weight and then you progress to some bands and maybe some dumbbells and kind of right. keep moving up. But um, I mean, the internet YouTube is, you know, a wonderful tool to use <laughs> for just basic body right. weight work True exercises. Enough. Yeah. And you have some videos as yeah, well. Yeah, and that we've got tons of, of body weight exercises from beginner workouts to more challenging that you can do in your hotel room or yep. you can do at home if you're if you're traveling or you're home. Which is yeah. really great. Yeah. Now we've talked about this before but it bears repeating mm -hmm. that what we want to do is get stronger for everyday life. Yeah. You know, I don't it's unlikely that I'm going to go into a, you know, yeah. muscle competition, <laughs> sure, sure. but I would like to remain <laughs> yeah. strong enough to do all the things totally. that I like to do for the yeah. total of my life. So yeah. talk about functional training. Yeah, I mean that's really what it's all about. It's it's being able to take what you can do uh, what you do in the gym or the studio into everyday life, whether that's going for a hike once the weather changes mm -hmm. a little bit or jogging around Green Lake. Um, and Seattle just has so many wonderful outdoor activities to, you know, do you want to go skiing? You know, it's, it's challenging on your body. So building up the strength and endurance to be able to enjoy those things is, is really why we do it in the first place. What yeah. do you see um, with muscle loss as we age? What are we trying yeah. to combat? Yeah, I, I mean, just that in itself. So as the muscle decreases, metabolism slows down, which is Such means a we drag. burn less calories, yeah. right? So you can't eat as much, which just sucks. Um, <laughs> so we want to keep the muscle on there. And then the other thing, it's, it's bone health is directly tied to it, right? So as you're strengthening your muscles, like they're supporting your bones and it contributes to bone strength, as well as injury prevention. So it's easier to get up off the ground. It's less lower back pain if you're walking around or mm -hmm. keeping up with the kids or grandkids or whatever it might be. So the injury pre prevention side really is, you know, that people kind of take it for granted until they get hurt. Like right. they take the like not having a pain until they actually get injured. Well, and yeah. we can think about our own older relatives yeah. who broke hips or whatever, and it was you know kind of catastrophic. Yeah, it's we don't dramatic. actually have to go down that path. Right, totally. Yeah, so um, it's better to le learn from other people's mistakes. Right, and, and, and yeah. not just yep. yourself. So you've got um, an inaugural family 5K run and walk at yeah. Green Lake, which I, I love the walk part and I love yeah. the 5K. <laughs> yeah, Both totally. of those are excellent. <laughs> yes. So tell me about that. Yeah, so it's um, it's going to be our first time putting it on. We're really excited. Uh, it's going to be an early early April we've got the details on our website okay. but yeah just one of those things where it's again taking things that we do in the studio and applying it out to you know getting yourself out for a run or bring the family and go for a walk and my, my wife will be there pushing our kiddo in the stroller so That's awesome. yeah it's it's getting everybody involved getting outside as the you know the crazy snow and, and ice gets behind yeah, us. Honestly, yeah honestly because we've all advantage. for some reason when you stay indoors like that there's a there's a, a car bloating instinct that kicks in. When there's in. snow outside you have to have hot chocolate I you have to you know you have to <laughs> Apparently pizza yeah. and a lot of other <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, totally. Ian, thank yeah. you very much. We'll post